Welcome to the EXP Group, one of the leading providers of business training solutions. Please enjoy this presentation and visit us on the web at www.theexpgroup.com for more information. Hello and welcome back to this EXP Paper P3 training video. Yesterday we looked at stakeholder mapping and we're on page 21 of the Express Notes. So we discussed all about Mendeley's matrix and uh, the allocation of stakeholders into the quadrants. Now, what I'd like to do is to talk briefly through an example. Let's have a look at BA. Let's have a look at British Airways and do stakeholder analysis, Mendeley's matrix for the international airline British Airways. So remember, if we draw the matrix we have stakeholders and according to Mendeley they should be classified according to interest and power so the level of interest and the level of power okay if we have low and low high and high let's plot some on there so for example let's think about me I'm a member of the public I don't work for BA I'm not a shareholder in BA I may occasionally use one of their flights and purchase a ticket but let's just look at me as a stakeholder in British Airways so what's my level of interest okay I mean I enjoy planes I like flying but my level of interest in British Airways is pretty low really so I'm on the low level of interest what is my level of power well my level of power is as an individual pretty low so I would be an example of a stakeholder within this quadrant. So a low level of interest with a low level of power. What do we have to do for those stakeholders? It's minimum effort. The technical term minimum, minimal effort. So in other words, British Airways would not do a lot on that. OK, let's have a look now. Who would have a low level of interest, but maybe a high level of power? Low level of interest, high level of power. OK, what about the government? The government. OK, um, their level of power is very high. Their level of interest, probably you could argue it could be high, but I would say maybe relatively low. So what should British Airways do for stakeholders in that category? We want to keep satisfied. So how would we keep um, the government satisfied? Well, paying taxes on time, submitting all the relevant forms, for example. Okay. What about somebody with a high level of interest but a low level of power. So let's say this is a junior member of staff, for example. They've got their job with British Airways, so they've got a high level of interest. It's their job. What's their level of power? I Maybe mean, as an individual, it's relatively low. But what should the company do? They should keep them informed. How do you keep employees informed? Well, um, employee meetings, employee newsletters, staff newsletters, and so on. Keep informed. The final one, we've got a high level of interest and a high level of power. High level of interest, high level of power. That could be board members, the board of directors. It could be trade unions. 
And re remember, according to Mendeloy's matrix, here are the key players. Here are the key players, and it's this quadrant which the company should focus on when addressing its strategy. OK, I'm just going to ask a quick question. What about shareholders? What about shareholders? Where should shareholders go? Well, the answer to this is it depends. It really depends on them as individuals or pension fund or whoever holds the shareholding as to their level of interest and their level of power. OK, let's say uh, an individual has got £100 worth of shares. Um, what's their level of interest if they've got £100 worth? My guess is it's probably going to be low level of interest and it will certainly be a low level of power. So they could be within this quadrant. What happens if an individual has savings, total savings of £100,000 and invests all of the £100,000 in British Airways shares. Well, he's almost certainly got a high level of interest because all of his savings are invested in there. But what would his level of power be? With British Airways, a major quoted company, 100000 it would be a low level of power. So it would be keep informed. How does a company keep shareholders informed? Well, um, annual accounts, for example, shareholder statements and so on. So really, just, just think, with shareholders, shareholders are stakeholders, but according to Mendelo's matrix, where we have the mapping between interest and power, they can fall into any one of these quadrants. OK, thank you for listening, uh, and please visit us again tomorrow for another video on this ACCA paper P3 training course.